Okay, section 3.7 is solving systems of linear equalities and linear programming. So what we're going to do is we're just graphing inequalities on this homework section. <clears throat> the first one says y is greater than x minus 6. So the first thing you need to do is see where this line is going to be because you're going to have to graph that line on the graph given to you. So go to your y equals, and lucky for us, this one is already, even though that's a greater than sign, we'll worry about that in a minute, but it's already solved for y. So I just need to type in x minus 6. Let's graph that and see what that looks like. So it's going to be a line that looks like that. Now, let's talk about what the greater than and equal, less than signs mean. When it's greater than, you're going to shade above the line. Less than means to shade below the line. Now, if it has, you'll notice the difference between number one and number two. Number two has this equal to bar, so it's going to, if you'll, that right there, that little equal to straight horizontal bar right there, so it means less than or equal to. That's telling you whether or not to make your line solid or dashed. And you'll have that option once you click. You'll have an option to make it dashed if you need it to, which we will need to do on this first one, but not on the second one. The default is it's always going to graph a solid line, and then you'll click this symbol in your toolbox to make the line turned into a dashed line. Okay, so on this one, let's see, we're going to need to plot two points. So let's just go to, remember how to get your points. Second, table. Hang on, let me set up my table. So go to second table and then plot any of these points that you want to graph the line. Let's see, I'll plot this one at zero, negative six, which means my x coordinate is zero, so I don't go left or right at all. Negative six, so down six, and put the point. So there's your first point. And let's see, let's just plot this next point. One, negative five. So my x coordinate is positive one, so I'll go to the right one. My y coordinate is negative five, so I'll go down five. Now, remember, you've already chosen the line tool in your toolbox to tell the graph that you're going to graph a line. So once you plot that second point, it's going to automatically connect this with a solid line. So once it connects it with that solid line, that's when you'll go over here. Since this one is dashed, since it doesn't have the equal to bar, you will want to turn that to a dashed line. Now, like I said, this says where are the y values greater than this line that we just graphed? Well, greater than would mean, and you'll see a little paint bucket that you can click on. Once you click on that, just click anywhere above this dashed line, and it'll shade above the line for you. All right, number two. Now, on this one, before I go to my calculator to put it in the y equals, I'm going to have to get the y by itself. So I have 4x minus 5y is less than or equal to negative 15. Solving for y, so subtract the 4x from both sides. So now I have negative 5y is less than or equal to, again, these are not like terms, so I'm just bringing these two terms down separately. So negative 4x minus 15, continue, continuing to solve for y, so I'll divide both sides by negative 5, everybody. Y, now, anytime you're dealing with an inequality and you divide both sides of that inequality by a negative number, the symbol, the inequality symbol will turn around. So this is actually, when I divide it by this negative, going to turn from a less than or equal to to a greater than and equal to. Negative over a negative makes that positive 4 over 5x. Again, negative over a negative makes that positive 15 over 5. 
is 3. So now I have y is greater than or equal to 4 fifths x plus 3. So that's what I'm going to put in my y equals. 4 over 5 x plus 3. And then graph it. So that's what your graph should look like. Let's get some points on this graph by doing second table. Now remember, you don't want to deal with points that have decimals. So let's graph this one right here that has two good integers, a 0, 3. So <clears throat> the first point, after you tell it in the toolbox that you want to graph a line by picking the line tool, plot the point 0, 3. So left and right 0, up 3. Let's see, let's get another good point that's not a decimal. There's one. There's a point at 5, 7. So to the right, 5, and then up, 7. Once you plot that point to the right, 5, and up, 7, remember, you've already told the graph that you're graphing a line. So it's going to connect these with a solid line, which is what we want the line to be this time. Since it has an equal to bar, it's solid. So it'll graph it, it'll draw the line for you. Now, it started off as less than, but once we divide it by that negative, it turned to greater than, which means once again, the y values, it wants to know where is y greater than or equal to this line. And greater than means above that line. All right, number three. X is greater than 5. There's no way I can put that in my Y equals because I do not have a Y. Okay? All I want to know is where is that line X equals 5? Well, if you'll remember, if you are graphing a line and it's just X equals a number with no Y involved, it's going to be a vertical line, one that is straight up and down. It's going to be a vertical line. So I just go to my x-axis where x is 5, and I can put my first point right there. Now, remember, you still want to tell it that you're drawing a line, so make sure you click on the line tool in your toolbox. Now, I need to go somewhere else where x is 5. Well, the reason it makes a vertical line like this is because any other point, the x-coordinate has to be 5 which means any other point, as long as I have gone to the right five, so I could put a point there, that's to the right five. I could put a point there, that's to the right five. Anywhere on the graph where you have gone from here over to the X coordinate being five. And again, you've told it that you want it to be a line, so once you plot that second point, it's actually going to draw the line for you, but it's gonna be solid. And since this one doesn't have the equal to bar, after you draw a line, you will need to make it turn into a dashed line. So that one will be dashed. Now, it wants to know where are the x values, again, greater than this line. Well, let's see. Let's look at this side of the line. These x values are 6, 7, 8. These x values are 4, 3, 2. So where are the x values greater than that line to the right of it? All right, number four, kind of similar to number three. This time there's no X involved. Anytime you have a Y equation with no X involved, it's actually going to make a horizontal line. And this one you could type in your Y equals because I do have a Y involved. If I typed Y equals two and graph it, look what it gives me. It gives me that horizontal line and look where it's going through the y-axis. It's going through it at that 2. So that's what this is making. Again, tell it you want it to draw a line. So click the line tool. Go to the 2 and put a first point. And then anywhere to the left or right of that. Because, again, once you'll see anywhere this has gone up 2. Which means its y-value is also 2. And again, draw a solid line this time since it does have the equal to bar. So there's what the line will look like. And again, I want to know where is y greater than this line, which y values greater than it are obviously above it. All right, the 
last one is graphing a system of inequalities. So let's first of all look at what this is going to look like. The first one is we'll graph x plus 6. The second one is 5 minus x. Now, when I graph these lines, that'll give me the lines that I want to look at. Now, if you'll notice, all four of these multiple choices have those two lines. So it's all going to depend on where it is shaded. So let's look. The first one, x plus 6, is this line right here. It wants to know where are the y values greater than this line. So greater than this line right here would be where? Everywhere above this line. So this whole top left corner here would be shaded. The other line is this one right here. It wants to know where are the y values less than this line, which would be all down here. So the first one was above this line, so this area here. The second one was below this line, so this area down here. The answer is where would the shading overlap, which would have been in this little section right here, because that is above the first line and below the second line, so right here. So which one of these answers shades that portion right there, which would be the B?